magazine. So they could either complete it in a Google document by clicking there, like a, it would make a copy for them, or um, they could actually, like if they had, I don't know if, how you run your classes, but if they've got a writing journal, they could actually complete the activities in the writing journal, but just get the activity from online. This one was like a rebus, so they had to, um, this one's Fleur de Lis, you know. Um, so they had to make their own. So they had fun um, doing that. So you want to give it a try. Just click on the link here and just kind of have a play around. Um, I suggest putting it into present mode uh, at the top here once it opens. Uh, it's a lot easier to navigate with that. And then you click on the buttons. Um, I'll just show you actually for people that, uh, sorry. You want me to switch to full view? Hold on. I'll do it for this. Just when I do that, I can't see the go to meeting control panel, but that's okay. All right. I'll just show you how we go through this. So the, all the instructions are there for the kids. And then you basically click on any one of the doors that you think might be um, the right one. Oh, I got the right one. I didn't mean to do that on purpose. But anyway, sometimes it tells you that you're um, go back to the beginning. Sometimes it tells you that you, you lost and someone else gave you gave a better deal. Um, so then when you click here on the, the arrow, it goes to your landing page with all the stuff that's in your locker. Um, so when we click on one, there's the map. So here, Um, so yeah, basically watch this video and then talk about what you've learned here. So I mean, essentially you could take this and make, um, you click on the arrow to go back, uh, make anything you want. I mean, you could link any activities to these. You could take it, you could go file, make a copy when you're in um, the non-present mode. If you go to file, make a copy, you can make your own and then you could just go in and switch up these pages to whatever um, suits what you're teaching or whatever um, uh, whatever you are teaching or want to teach or if something doesn't match up with, with what you're doing. So um, yeah, that's the game. There's a French one and an English one. So check it out. Feel free to file. It's just here, file, and then go to make a copy and uh, you can edit it up as you need or, or use it as is, please feel free. End of school might be fun for your students to try it out. Um, that's it. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember this over. So yeah, I, I linked it actually to the curriculum for grade three French, but um, I, I can easily see most of those activities being used for core French, especially now in the end of the year. Um, Okay, so here's just some of the learning that happened. So they were making a poster. This was mid mid poster. So anyone can guess those rebuses. I'll give you a prize. <laughs> Not really. I don't have any prizes. But <laughs> anybody? Anybody? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I I missed that. Sorry, because you said it really fast. What did you need us to do? Oh, I just wanted you to guess what these rebuses are that are on the screen. So it's basically oh. like the le roi lion. words and letters. Le roi yep. lion. Okay, yeah. Le, le roi lion. And yeah, and Jackie got the other one, ah. Chateau. Chateau, yeah, cool. So those are ones that the kids made up. I mean, they're in grade three. They were easy enough. But, you know, they had fun and they had to learn how to search for images and how the sounds worked. So that was, that was a fun one for them. Um, so, yeah. Basically, I hope I gave you some tools at least to get you started for um, building your own super slides and having fun uh, doing that. Um, I also don't know if any of you or all of you have joined the resource sharing Google Classroom that I made. So uh, Google just decided that classrooms can be outside of the education domains, so not just within districts. And I thought that was a great way to collaborate because just like Stephen, I love the collaboration piece. So um, being able to collaborate with other boards, other districts um, all around the world so everybody can join by putting in the class code. You just go, I think it's classroom.google.com and 
you have to join with your own personal Google account. It won't work with an education account because they haven't turned on the ability. I don't think most boards have done that. So you do have to have your own Google account. Um, so, but it, it's worth it. Good little community. There's about 50 people so far, so we're growing. But yeah, I just thought I'd plug that if anybody is interested in joining. Totally free. Yeah, so again, I know that sometimes you still have questions after the fact. I'm totally open and willing to help you out. If you want to tweet me or email, whatever, just let me know. I'm totally open to that. And uh, if you want to see more, definitely come to Fred Matters because I um, will be there with many more tips and tricks for Google to help you on your Google journey with, with French or FSL and all that. So yeah, thank you so much for having me on, Stephen. It's been a blast. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? The pleasure is totally ours. Um, this is awesome. I'm just so glad at the end that you're letting us contact you after because uh, there's, for me, having never done this before, that's a lot of goodies and a lot of things to get excited about. So, and I love the fact, as Glenn said, that he, um, like, wow, look at the tons of work that you've done or whatever, and you're making some of this available to us. Like, wow, thank you so much. Glenn, you said, well, I feel like that's what it's all about, right? <laughs> oh, it is. It is 100%. Absolutely. That, that's exactly how I have been behaving for the past 24 years. Uh, so uh, I believe absolutely in, in sharing and, and collaborating. Oh, my gosh. Glenn, you said you had a question. Um, did you want to ask that now? Sure thing, Steve. Thank you. Uh, Larissa, thank you so much. That was really, really cool. I, I've been using Google Slides for the last... Uh, couple of years and uh, wow this is a tremendous amount of work that you've done so bravo well, thank you um, one of the, the activities you had the students watch a brain pop video which is really cool and then then they were uh, instructed to make a copy so when the students fill that out and do they then share it back with you or do you automatically see that they've logged in because they're in your domain or how does that um, right, so that's a good question because um, basically when you assign something in Google Classroom, right, you know that, do you use Google Classroom? I do, yeah. Yeah, so it, it comes direct, it's just like so intuitive, it comes right into your drive, you already have access to all their files. So for this, what I have them do is I build, have them each create just a Storage Wars folder, mm -hmm. and if they share the folder with me, then whenever they put anything in the folder, it will automatically be shared with me. So any of those copies that were made just get slid into that Storage Wars folder, and that way I have access to. Okay, clever. See what I mean? It's a little bit of an extra step. I don't know how else to do it. If you can figure it out, let me know. But I don't know how else to make it, you know. I know that, as you know, when you, make, you give them an activity in the Google Classroom, I mean, Google will automatically make a folder, uh, you know, an individual yeah. document for every kid, but where you've got multiple steps, it makes it a little bit tougher for sure. Right, yeah. So I wasn't really sure how to do that, but maybe one day. <laughs> but for now, the workaround is just making a folder that's shared with me, and they can, they're pretty proficient. They can do that. So. Perfect. Thank you. And, and again, can you just put up the code to that uh, Google Classroom sharing? Because I tried yeah. a lot. I couldn't I couldn't get in under one Google account I'll try another <laughs> okay give it a try yeah because the Google account from work like won't work did you try it with a work one I did yeah okay okay all right one sec thank you no problem yes absolutely <laughs> couldn't say thank you enough um, definitely want to ask if, if uh, anybody else has any questions uh, either Kathy uh, Catherine's me, uh, Jackie uh, or Kendall, do you have any other questions for Larissa? As she's already stated, she absolutely is making herself uh, available. You can actually find her on Facebook if you're on Facebook. Um, and it's uh, Larissa Irina, right? Is that correct? I think so. Yeah, I have pretty high um, privacy settings, but maybe you can find me through Stephen somehow. Okay, <laughs> I think yeah. through a friend is okay, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. But otherwise, yeah, I'm on Twitter all the time as well, so... Yeah, definitely. So Twitter, um, for sure, you can can uh, reach her at yeah, Mrs. Geek Chic. Thank you. And um, and if not, if you want to get a hold of her, just you can uh, contact me as well. So that that would be awesome. Um, right, Kendall. Yeah, nor nor have I. Um, 
Kendall's a, an amazing French teacher herself, um, and she's afraid, afraid of trying new things, so I can definitely picture Kendall doing something like this. Um, now, uh, so here's what I wanted to do. While I still have everybody, and I definitely, Larissa, would love your opinion on this as well, um, if you don't mind, if uh, I'll just take the presenter control back, unless there's yeah. anything you wanted to add. Yeah, go ahead. I'll give you a... Nope. A, a proper thank you at the very end um, but basically so let me just uh, okay I'll mute my mic now too <laughs> no worries okay so if every if you can just hang on for five minutes I just want to get your opinion on this um, I think we have a kind of a new uh, and exciting opportunity over this summer and no you really don't have to do any work so don't worry <laughs> But uh, some of you may remember last year um, we did the animated videos package. So we created 36 animated interactive animated videos that your students can actually um, practice with. It covers all the strands of listening, reading, writing, arithmetic. No, not arithmetic. Anyways, um, and basically what we did was every time we created a new video, um, we put it out there and anybody who wanted a preview could uh, look over it and give their feedback and then we would adjust it accordingly and everything like that and people were able to get um, you know you could have grabbed the videos right there as you were watching them um, right off of YouTube uh, was anybody here part of that by any chance because basically every week we came up with a basically a, a new set of videos and uh, I know we had as many as 85 teachers at, at one point um, critiquing it and um, giving their input and uh, getting all excited about it. I don't know if anybody particular that's here uh, did that. But uh, this summer we have actually a new project that we're pretty excited about. And so I wanted your opinion on this just to bounce it off a few of my fellow French teachers to think, to ask you what you would think about this and whether you think um, you would like to be, uh, it's something that you'd be interested in peeking in on, a little, little bit of voyeurism here, um, as this is transparently made. We are, um, we've been asked to um, work with um, Express Lab, which was, which is probably the uh, longest running uh, LMS, so learning management system, that is out there for French teachers, and um, help them build a library. So basically, we are going to be working on that, and I'm wondering if you would like to be a part of it. And let me show you how this is going to be done. So last year we had the animated videos package. So I'll just kind of skip through this video a little bit. There's a little bit, uh, there you go. You can see a little bit of it, hopefully, on your screen of what our animated videos package looks like. But what's great about a learning management system, of course, is when we create activities, um, interactive activities, um, standalone activities, assessment for activities, assessment as activities, uh, the learning management system, of course, takes care of everything for us. It collects the marks and allows us to put in comments. Express Lab goes even further. You can do actually community things um, where you can have a subject of the day, which we intend on, on becoming a part of. And your students can drop in comments, whether through audio, video, or through typing, and you can have group and class discussions and you can actually evaluate your students on their interaction because that's what we're trying to do, promote collaboration, correct? Mm -hmm. So basically the idea of what we're thinking of doing is using, so I'll just flip, flip this, using the characters, of, and some of you may have seen this before, of um, three um, French educational performers, rock stars, I guess you want to call them. So we have uh, Nate Vedette, and we have Roland Bibo, and then we also have um, Etienne or DJ Delph, whatever you prefer. I don't know what you prefer, but for this purpose, it's going to be Etienne. And the idea is these animated characters that you see, so I'll just pause it up here. Oops, sorry, just wait. So, so there is um, Etienne. Hopefully, you can see this on your screen. There he is. I'm circling him in red on red, so I don't know if you can see that or not. But uh, basically, the idea is... <clears throat> these characters will lead students through a whole bunch of very different types of activities that cover 100% of the curriculum. So there'll be a library filled with interactive activities 
that the uh, will either be available for us to correct, like the learning management system would, or it actually corrects things and, and uh, gives feedback directly to you and the student themselves. So one of the videos that we made is this one here. Whoops, that popped up too big, sorry. This one, that's really strange, sorry. Let me try this. There we go, okay. This one right here, which I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to pop this down in here. And I'm going to actually ask you to click on this right now, the link I just put in the, um, the chat box. If you wouldn't mind right now, just clicking on the link in the chat box. I'm going to play it, but in case you can't hear it or see it, because um, sometimes my <clears throat> excuse me, browser doesn't work as well as Larissa's did today. If you could click on the link, I'd love to know what you think of this. Okay, This is um, one of the interactive videos that's being created for this library. So the idea is, and please watch it right now, um, on your own computer hopefully so you can hear the audio and get the idea of what this is about. But the idea is as we create these videos and create content for the library, we want to just make it available right on the French Playground Facebook group and across social media for you to be able to uh, comment on and actually be able, probably able to grab it just like last year. The best part of this is the fact that Express Lab is actually a free format. Not only is it the oldest format and the longest running, and we don't want to say old as in out of date, but most reliable because it's long running, um, but it's actually free to all, um, all I know, all Ontario teachers for sure, right across the province. So you would be able to just log in and boom, immediately assign a whole myriad of different interactive activities um, that Express Lab would actually mark and allow you to provide feedback for. So that's it. That's what I wanted to present to you. What are your thoughts, please, about A, that video, and B, this idea? You can either unmute yourself or you can type in the chat box if you'd be so kind to share your opinions. Maybe you're not done watching the video. But... <clears throat> I froze at a weird spot, didn't I? So I know, Glenn, I had kind of hinted to you that I was doing something. Oh, okay, Jackie. Yeah, it, it looks tremendous. We've, um, again, a lot of work put into this. Um, you know, I can see this being kind of a springboard uh, for students to take the, the theme that you've presented here and, and to make up their own uh, short story like that. Absolutely. I would also, you know, I would also, uh, you know me and my, my love for Ed Puzzle. I don't know if everyone knows about Ed Puzzle or not, but you should. If you haven't, I'm, maybe I may present that in the fall if Steve lets me. Um, and that would be to, you can take any YouTube video and insert comprehension questions throughout the video. So again, I look at something like that, Stephen, you know, the sky's the limit for anyone's creativity there. Right, exactly, Glenn. No, absolutely. And uh, what you mentioned is absolutely just one of the many activities. With this video alone, we already have 12 activities on the burner and one of them is definitely um, create your own monster. One of course is the students would listen to the audio of this and draw their own monster. There would also be uh, more level one type of activities. Uh, level one type activities where the students are just reviewing or learning the vocab in the beginning whether it's numbers, colors, um, body parts because all that is in this story, right? So um, it would be breaking things down. Um, I'm just uh, typing an answer um, to Larissa's question too. Um, I might as well just say it. So no worries about the LMS uh, system about not knowing it or whatever. Um, we'd be enrolling these activities and we would be sharing that with you. Nothing would be on it anyways, so there's no real point of going to um, the LMS right now until the library is up and ready. But basically, this is how, um, I don't know if I have it here, so let me just pause screen for a second for you guys. <clears throat> and I want to show you basically how this is going to work. It's going to work off of um, 
our curriculum. So let me just now unpause this and hopefully you can see this. Yes, you can hopefully. Let me know actually if you can see this. But basically there would be all types of activities that would cover all of our curriculum. Curriculi? <laughs> Curriculums. So basically, um, Ontario, Ontario Elementary, Secondary, uh, USA, Alberta, BC, you name the curriculum, it's there. Glenn, you can help us with Newfoundland. Uh, that would be awesome. But basically, um, the activities would be leveled. And these are the levels here. Hopefully you can see them. Um, the levels would be according to everything, no matter where you are in the world, the UK, doesn't matter where it is. Um, it will tell you kind of what the level of the activities are. And then when you go to the actual... Um, here is a compatible curriculums chart, okay? So the idea is that, and then I love, Glenn, what you said about the students, you know, making their own um, thing. The students, teachers and students could be able to make their own um, games as well or activities as well as if they want to. But the idea of what Express Lab wants is to have a library with literally dozens or hundreds of activities already done. So you basically can go, I want to cover this type of a theme um, and I know that there is there are excuse me activities of all levels level one through four for all the overall expectations so there's universalized expectations that basically it's just one one place shopping all done for you um, only there's no shopping because it's free so that that is the idea so well, Glenn, thank you. This is exactly the idea. I'm asking, would you be interested over the summer being privy to this? So this being a transparent operation. And we show you a video like this and we say, okay, you just saw that Monstre Sumoli uh, video featuring um, Etienne, animated version of Etienne. And we've got animated versions of Nate Vedette, Roland Bibot, uh, or there'll be other um, uh, figures as well. And um, they would guide the students through everything. So the learning and, and all the things like that. So that's great, Larissa. So that's great, Glenn. Thank you, uh, Jackie. Awesome. Um, yes, Kendall, on the same concept, because Kendall, I know you know. <laughs> For those of you who have the DJ Delph kit and use the DJ Delph kit, you know that we believe in scaffolding, right? We want uh, their learning process to be real, authentic. And we also want it to be scaffolded. So that eliminates a fear of failure as the students build from one activity to another. So that's exactly what will happen. What do you think about that, Kendall? The fact that, so you see the levels up here. So there's listening to know, all right? The listening to know are gonna be more level one, level two type things, obviously, right? Um, so Kendall, I'm still waiting for your answer. Um, just so you know, type fast. Um, and then, the next uh, level is listening to show. And if you're from Ontario, you're familiar with um, these particular um, ones up here. That's okay, Kendall, you have an awesome brain. Okay, these ones over here, you'll recognize from the elementary curriculum. Um, let's see here, that's listening to show. So that's the level two in our Ontario curriculum. And then the last one's listening to grow. So that's more of a deeper concept. Um, that's listening to demonstrate a deeper understanding of various language conventions and aspects of the French, of French culture found in a variety of media um, and aspects, sorry, of French culture, I'm reading too fast, found in a variety of media messages on new and previously learned topics. So basically, yes, multiple um, activities, which most of them Express Lab would mark for you, right, because it would be part of it. And But then there would be other ones that would... Um, be more open where you actually go in and you would hear the audio they left and um, what's great too is there is capability of obviously type recognition but also speech recognition so there could be some very 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 applicable things and activities that we could create together because basically we're being given the keys to express loud guys so it's it's you can watch as we do this together and you can just give your opinions and whatever you want to do is really cool um, well, this is what's great, Kendall. Um, so thinking of how we keep activities similar for our IEP students in the regular uh, classroom activities. That's a great question. That's where you'll look at the levels, okay? And that's where you're going to look at, I might want to, so 
there'll be multiple activities that are fairly similar. So you might want, might want excuse me, to assign one that you would be more level one, two, while the rest of your class um, is working at a level three pace. Does that make sense, Kendall? That's how I would go around that. Or the other thing that I would do is if you're familiar with the activity that you're assigning them, and if you want them to have sort of a crib sheet, so to speak, um, that is something that you'd be able to um, either create or maybe that'll be available. I'm not quite sure. But do you know what I'm saying? That's how I would handle it anyways. Um, so yes, thank you. Um, yeah, okay, op options for enrichment. Yes, no, absolutely. Oh, sorry, I wasn't caught. I didn't catch up, catch up Kendall, so my brain's slow too. Uh, so uh, enrichment, oh, absolutely. Because don't forget, we're asked to make a library, so it has to be totally comprehensive. So it has to cover everything. I teach French Immersion High School. So there better darn well be stuff applicable for my students. And so uh, there will be. And these are things that we want to share immediately as soon as school's over, okay? Um, oh, that's okay, Kendall. That's okay. Definitely save your voice for grad. That's awesome. Um, okay, Express Lab is just the, um, the platform, like the French Playground. In fact, um, we're going to probably convert the mission side of the French Playground to just go right into the portal to Express Lab. But there's really nothing to see there, so to speak. It's not like there isn't anything there. There's some great stuff there. Don't get me wrong. But not like in what here, what they want us to build. Do you know what I'm saying? So basically, I'll explain more. But if you're on Facebook, please make sure you join uh, the French Playground because um, that's where we're going to post the links to all these and across other social media. But right on the French Playground, you're going to be able to drop your comments and say, oh, it would be great if this activity had this or that. And we'll say, oh, well, actually it does already, or you know, check this activity out, or it will check out, or you know, let us show you the activity we're working on, or et cetera, et cetera. So let me just uh, type the link to this here. There you go, that's the Facebook group. If you're not already on, um, please definitely join us here because this is where we'll start dropping it. But just very much like the animated um, videos package, as we were making these um, animated sketch videos where students can speak to actual francophones, it's the same idea here. Um, you were able to give, give us input. So it's the French Playground Facebook group, Kendall. Yep, the Facebook group for the French Playground. Yep. So hopefully you're already on. And if not, just click and join. And that's where we're going to drop everything. And then we just open open discussion. So in fact, um, I'm just looking here. There's, there's a lot of names. Oh, there you go, Kendall. Oh, and Larissa. Okay. Thank you. Um, let me just get you all on there now. So, and then please tell your friends, okay? And what we're going to do is, so like that video, you will have actually access, access to. If you're an ATN fan, you'll recognize that song. It's uh, Un Monstre Simoli from the Le Retour CD. So basically, we're going to convert the a lot of this ATN stuff, these awesome songs about carnival and about clothing and just all, all these things like that and make them from base level stuff where the students can learn to know then learn to show and then learn to grow type thing so basically that tiered system which is if you're from Ontario that is the Ontario curriculum and what you're going to discover though everybody <laughs> is if you peek around you're going to find out that it's also the BC curriculum it's also very much the Alberta curriculum um, it's very, very related to the U.S. curriculum, which is run through the actual uh, standards. Um, also, England, the U.K., so Wales, England, um, very, very much uh, the same. So you're going to be, you're going to see a presented um, universalized curriculum. So I'm glad that you liked it. Do you want a little peek uh, more at it? Uh, especially Glenn, I know you were interested in that. Um, let me just go back to it. So, because my, I guess I should shut this down here. Thank you. Okay. Let me go back to, okay. Yes. Uh, Glenn says yes. So yes, global approval. I mean, that that's it. So, and what does this do, Glenn? Glenn already knows the answer to this. This allows us to do these things together. Okay. So you'd be able to go on the French playground and you'll be able to um, do activities, not just playing cahoots, but other things together as well. And what I like about this, and you guys tell me what you think, because you are the first human beings on earth hearing about this, okay? 
So I need you to be really honest. But what I think I like about this is that because it's Etienne, Nate Vedette, Roland Bibo, and there will be other characters that are helping along the journey here, these are actually real people. So the students will actually have a chance to maybe go to an ATN concert or have Nate Vedette um, live in their school or Roland Bibo come and do a show at their school. And it's more connections. It's so, so very powerful. There will be female characters. Absolutely, Larissa. Maybe there should be a, a Larissa one. Yes, Madame Geek Chic, I think, should be there. Yes, I think so. We should vote on that. I like that idea, actually. Yes. I know you think, do you think I'm kidding, actually? But I'm not. Anyways, not funny. It would be real because you're a real person. Do you know what I mean? Oh, Kendall, don't think you can get away with this. I can make a Kendall person, too. So, anyways, so, um, but it makes that connection. Do you understand how powerful that is, right? Before the Internet was a really big thing, okay, um, I can tell you from my experience of being ATN and being DJ Delph, um, going out and doing concerts, there's nothing more powerful than absolutely going out there and reaching the students and then putting a face to who ATN is. So they hear about this ATN guy and they hear that, oh, he's toured all over the world and, you know, Justin Bieber is a huge fan of ATN and all this stuff like this, right? And then they go to a concert with 5,000 people or 7,000 people at a show or even 500,000, uh, it doesn't really matter. And they see, you know, all these people going crazy about the music. Well, how much more powerful if, hey, that's the dude that was helping me learn French. Do you know what I mean? In this other interactive context. What do you think about that? It was a long question for a yes or no answer. Oh, Jackie, thank you. You're awesome. Yep. Yes, there will be shop talks over the summer, and there'll be actually, if you guys choose that you like this idea, um, there'll be some related to this. Where we'll be sharing and and doing open forum. If you've been on Shop Talk, you know we create things together. So um, I want to make this open. So, so yes, Jackie, definitely. Oh, Kendall, you're funny. Jeez. Anyways, but yes, but Kendall, that actually that, that touches on what I'm talking about. It's that connection piece. Okay. So it's called projection in psychology. If you remember your psych classes from university, it's called projection. So they think ATN's cool. Even my own students don't think I'm cool. But they think ATN's cool, if that makes any sense. Or they think DJ Delph is amazing, but they don't like me. So, and that's fine. I don't lose sleep over it, okay? But um, it's that whole thing. So now they see an animated live dude talking to them and stuff like that. A theory based off of the success of the animated videos package over this year, since the summer when we created them, is clearly students like to um, practice their French and... Uh, these animated things just make it really, really um, kind of like, again, li limiting the fear of failure type thing. So, okay, so I'm getting some yeses. I, I, oh, sorry, I, I missed some other things. Okay, good. Okay, that's it. We're eight minutes over. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so this would be a one-stop shop, but um, with Express Lab, you can actually make your own activities too, So, and you can share them. It's a big bank. Um, teachers from Ontario may be familiar with it. It's um, it's free. The Ontario Ministry um, is the one who hosts the whole thing. So um, Express Lab is just the format, but the platform, sorry. But anyways, okay. Well, God bless all of you all. Thank you so much for sticking with me all this year. And uh, we had some scattered um, <laughs> um dates this year and we apologize we're hoping to have more concrete dates next year but uh larissa thank you so much for joining us and i hope you will join us next um in this fall and for those of you who haven't signed up for fred matters toronto i hope you do and so you guys have a great last week for those of you who have one more week and uh we will definitely see you over the summer and i hope to see you on the french playground let's start sharing this stuff all right take care everybody merci beaucoup Ah, you guys are awesome. <laughs> cool. Merci. All right. Hey, thanks again, Steve. Hey, awesome. did you have fun? 
Yes, it was amazing. It was good. I'm so sorry. I don't even know where that other like whole Chrome browser came from at the beginning, but I don't that, think many people were on at that point, so it's okay, I think. <laughs> that that was funny, actually. I loved it. Um, because uh, that's the kind of stuff happens to me all the time, and we roll with it. Totally we're... stressed me out, though. I was like, oh shoot, now it's like I'm ruined. <laughs> Give me a break. Now, um, I know you got to go because you said bedtime. Is that correct? Yeah, not for me, for my son. He's no, four, I understand. So. <laughs> no, I understand. I understand. Um, just really quickly, I want you to know that uh, I really appreciated it. And um, I liked how you said you were excited about the possibility of going out east. Yeah. I want you to um, think about the possibility of going out west. Oh, yes. When? Um, October 27th, um, Grand Prairie wants Fred Matters out west. You've probably seen that in our little chat thing yeah. or whatever. Um, so we're uh, still working on what presenters they want, but one of the things okay. they definitely want is technology. So, um, October 27th, I don't know if that's something that's, uh, you'd be open to, but I want you to think about it. Let me check the calendar. How would that work? Would I have to like pay my own way there or? <laughs> no, 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 no. You actually get paid okay. very well. well. Well, I think is very well. But anyways, um, so no, you actually, so your flight, hotel, meals, all that's taken care of, right? You get okay. a presenter's day fee. It's like $500, I think, is what they're granting us. But yeah. you also get um, like a extra for lost wages, which is really, okay. really cool. Like, oh, because that's a Friday, right? Wait. It is. It's a school day. So you'd leave. You do red okay. eye. Like do like a red eye the Thursday night after school. Yep. And then fly to Grand Prairie. It's two flights. So it's Toronto to because you're Toronto area, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's Toronto to um, Edmonton, I think, or Calgary, and then it's um, the short hop from there to Grand Prairie. Okay. And, um, oh, and you're, are you in Ottawa area or where are you? No, Windsor, Ontario. I have a long way to fly. Windsor. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah. So just, um, just that's between you and I. Okay. And yeah, I won't say anything. Um, for right now, it doesn't look like there's anything, um, in my calendar at least, but, uh, yeah, it sh should, should probably work. I can probably swing. Because I've got, um, I don't know if you guys have a similar, in high school you must have, like the chair position. I okay. kind of hold that at my school and it, I think we get two or three oh, that's good. days for that. Okay. So I may be able to use that. Or we also have like personal no questions asked days that I might be able to use. So right. it could be okay. Yeah, and that's what I, th they're prepared to help cover that too. Because I explained that to them. Like, do you know what I mean? Like we, we, we have to buy back, right, the time or whatever. So. They, right. they understand that, so they cover that as well, so that's kind of cool. Um, cool. I always look at it more of as, it's it's just a chance to, to connect. <laughs> like, connect, I know, it's the best way for sure. Like, um, well, um, Would that be the same format, like English presenting or? Yeah, you'd be presenting, presenting in English. You would do very much what you just did today, so. Okay. Yep. And, uh, and is it like Battle of the Presenters again? Or? No, probably not this time because um, there are only one, three of us, I think. And, um, like, I know, like, that's what I said, just right now, just check in and get back to me and then I'll get back. Like, I'll let you know what's going on as I'm working with them on the details. But, okay. uh, that um, sounds awesome. yeah, I, um, we, the situation at my school is that my principal got breast cancer back in December. I'm sorry. So yeah. we've had kind of like a revolving door of different people. So it's, I think, I think it would be totally fine. Like I've got support from everybody but you know you never know who's going to be there but I'm sure it wouldn't be an issue like I could make it work okay yeah um I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of everything I do I, you know I'm not quite sure like who's going or whatever so like I'm not saying like we definitely I'm promising you a spot or whatever I just yeah, 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 for sure. okay just want you to know um my last question for you goes sorry sorry I apologize but this is the first yeah. time I ever um I, I've ever talked to anybody about this this express lobby thing and, and again, yeah. the Express Lab isn't even the point. The point is building an LMS library, essentially. Um, yeah. What did you think about that idea? I like it. I think it's cool. I'm always, like, an advocate for, you know, having a one-stop to find resources. And, you know, I love the eDelo. I don't know if you use that stuff. Maybe yep, not. Yep, yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just having kind of one place to go to, that kind of thing. 
But I like, too, that this is so universal. Like, someone in the UK can pick it up and be like, oh, okay, this is where it fits in. Like, right. because usually everything's so concentrating on your province or your area, you know? So I love that, yeah, especially think, about it. I think the idea is you'll be able to kind of click on wherever you're from, and then it'll yeah. pop up, like, your curriculum, and then you'll see all the so cool. activities that cover your curriculum basically and you just go oh so let's cool. do carnaval or whatever and then boom. so like who made that video i think i missed that part who uh we did our my, my production company did oh okay cool yeah so i'd love to have a character <laughs> that's I so know. nerdy but i love it it's so funny well that's not a bad idea so yeah we'll see we'll see for sure because i i think the idea of having i could have like the digital citizenship spin on it or something you know like because that's so relevant right now that and all the global competencies and all that stuff yeah sorry what do you mean by that exactly so i don't misunderstand just like you know the nerdy french teacher who <laughs> who's trying to push you know global education on the internet and proper uses of social media and that's a good you know angle. that kind of yeah that's a good angle it is yeah so. i just don't have the musical background but <laughs> that's okay well it does, no that's fine not everybody we're going to do is musical we just want people that the students can actually see outside and then, right. and then make that connection. I mean, uh, was I off? Do you think that? I think that's powerful. Do you? Or I don't know. I'm <laughs> no, I think that's great. No, for sure. Cause, uh, I just find that, you know, a lot of the stuff sometimes I'm finding is like, oh, like your song is great. But I mean, for my immersion kids, they don't need to know what like Le Bras and Le Pied is, you know? Oh. Like in grade, in grade one, how they're doing the actual parts like of oh no that's the level you, know I mean? you would totally yeah, skip that would be level one yeah you would skip those level one things you'd be going to the three and four where three they're four, obviously yeah. manipulating their own monster or they have to replace the vocab to create a, a monster from morocco so they actually have oh, cool. to research morocco they have to replace or insert um french cultural items uh, that are based from morocco or any country, really, right? Like yeah, any Frank folk country they would do. The place. And then, yeah, then what they cool. would do is they would create it and they would upload it, either audio or video or whatever they do, right? Um, yeah. And then you would have that in your kind of folder waiting for you to assess. And then, cool. Yeah, type thing. So, um, but the, a lot of the quick hitter things are cool too, where, hey, if it marks it for me, I'm happy, right? Because it's, yeah, it's exactly. a scaffold, a journey, and then I use it as, as just evidence, right? Um, yep. So it's, it's kind of powerful, and it gives the students uh, something to build on. Okay, well, yeah, it's bed, sure. bedtime, so I'll let you go. And, uh, yeah, I know I go to school, but um, thank you so much. Yeah, that's awesome. Definitely keep me in mind for October. Yeah, for sure. Sounds great. Okay, you take care. Awesome. Yeah, you too. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Yeah, you too. Bye.